Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. If you have recently become a member of my channel, welcome. So happy to have you guys here for each and every one of you that has joined. Super, super awesome. Um, this is going to be a relationship reading for June. And I'm also going to put an extended reading link underneath this video um, if it calls for an extended so you'll be able to find that um, but we'll take a look and see Dorothy Kirby welcome to the house of Virgo gang all right so let's take a look here and see what the messages are Virgo Sun moon rising or Venus a relationship person that you are currently connecting with or have on your mind see what the messages and the energy is with this person all right past you have the moon current is hmm the five of pentacles the challenge is the six of pentacles okay driving the reading is the three of wands crowning is the eight of pentacles soon coming up seven of swords position of you position of this other person hopes and fears and the outcome okay hmm so let me get a clarifying card for the moon we have the eight of swords now under the deck is the six of swords so there is an energy here of coming out of a comfort zone and taking a huge maybe trip relocating moving forward there is something here i feel like someone i feel like there's an energy of there can't be success until something moves forward here this is the overall message and someone wanting to do that in order to have this success this victory in this relationship okay so the past energy is the moon okay so with the eight of swords feels like there was some confusion in the past about a relationship or um between two people um hmm. i feel the message there's like insecurity mental victimhood or a sense of feeling trapped i feel like a, a lot of deception and lies perhaps somebody was hiding their insecurity and their fears or some kind of mental struggle or issue in a past relationship not really revealing too much about that but there was some kind of understanding like if this is the other person or you i feel like someone here kind of knew that there was some kind of mental struggle of some sort um or some anxiety or something along the somebody was hiding yeah pretty much like i mean it's kind of hard to hide anxiety issues or mental issues you know but some people can mask really well but it feels like something slipped out and yeah there was definitely some kind of issue in the past where someone was hiding something now the current energy is this five of pentacles so there is a struggle that's happening right now the challenge is to give to this struggle to be generous and kind and to be supportive as someone's going through some kind of struggle i feel like you and this person are struggling together one is a bit more broken and dependent or codependent on the other um someone might not want to give to the relationship because or not give invest too heavily because of some kind of like there could be like i said some well this is more like physical health or something along those lines it's a benefit to be supportive and to give um if someone is going through some kind of like a mental thing that's turned into a physical thing but i do feel like there is an energy here of wanting to bring balance to a relationship and try to give what 
is available to give um, because they're saying someone needs to be able to pick themselves up and do something on their own here, right? Um, you know, I don't, they're just giving me this it, this vision of like you know squirrels when they're out there in the wilderness or in the forest, they're they're getting nuts and berries and they're eating. It. There's plenty of food for them to be self sufficient. But when someone starts throwing breadcrumbs and stuff out the back door. The squirrels are going to come and take advantage of that because they don't have to work for it, right? So there is this energy of like maybe just giving a few breadcrumbs and then um, trying to have this person stand on their own two feet or um, giving, you're giving a little, but not so much that they can't learn to be self-sufficient, okay? And just remember that the rules could be reversed here. Now, what's driving this reading at this time is the three of wands. So there is this long-term desire to make plans, to see what could happen, to see what could be in regards to this relationship. Because I feel like one person is heavily dependent on another, you know, maybe more so than the other. And there is this desire to see, okay, well, if someone puts some investing, what will come back to them? You know what I mean? It, is this person going to be able to make it on their own? I feel like your your mindset too, there is a mindset here of like needing to put in the effort and put the effort into the relationship and do the work. I feel like somebody is, maybe you Virgo is putting in a lot of effort and the other person is really dependent on those breadcrumbs that they're they're getting or whatever you're giving, even if you're not giving breadcrumbs, they're, they're, they're very dependent. They need you to guide them. And it seems like you want this person to take some kind of initiative or some kind of lead. You you want a partner, not a project here. Okay. Um, so I feel like the present energy in June is, you know, you helping out a little or investing a little bit, you're not going to do the whole thing. You want to see what comes back in return from this person. Are they going to match your energy? That kind of thing. Now... The near future is the Seven of Swords. So let me get a clarifying card here because this could mean a lot of different things. All right, they gave you two. So the near future pretty much feels like I'm hearing they want to they want to put the effort in they want to match your energy like they have these in like secret desires to do that but they're kind of at a crossroad and this person seems to like to take shortcuts they prefer to take shortcuts so i feel like in june you're just going to be waiting <laughs> here to see what effort and energy that they put in i feel like they want to but for some reason, it's just like, it just keeps bringing me back to the squirrel on somebody's back, back door. Like, why, why milk the cow when I can get the milk for free? That's kind of what I feel like is going on here with this person. So yeah, maybe they're a little bit passive. They have some kind of issue going on here, or there was something that was recognized, or they hide their insecurities. But it feels like the temptation to take is very, like, uh, it's almost as if I feel like your message is you need to start really stop throwing your pearls to, to the pigs. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, there, this is like looking at your self worth and your value. You know, like every breadcrumb you, you know, try to help that you throw to that squirrel that squirrel like values that more than anything in the world you know um but you need to value it as well i mean if you had like a stack of hundred dollar bills you're just not going to go like say you had three hundred dollars a stack three one hundred dollar bills are you just you got to get your bills paid or you got to eat are you just going to go out there and just casually throw it up into the air and wherever it lands whoever gets it that's fine i mean i'm not saying that your worth is contributed to money but i feel like there's something here about you taking a look at at those squirrely breadcrumbs and what you're doing to help someone and maybe you need to see 
how can I say this, that, th that these are valuable things that you're giving and they shouldn't be given away for free. It's one thing to help someone, but you might need to stop um, putting yourself in a position to do everything for someone here, okay? And um, maybe step back, let the plates pile up in the sink, and when they've got uh, nothing to eat on, um, they're going to be forced to wash a dish. So <laughs> it's my little analogies, you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like this is really in the position of you and your advice is to really look at uh, clean your own plate, Virgo. Stop cleaning everybody else's plate. <laughs> You're not a servant. You know, uh, make your plate nice and shiny and clean and then you'll always have a clean plate for you to eat off of. You don't have to do everybody else's <laughs> dishes you know unless that's your job unless you do that for a job but see if you do you're getting paid to do that so at least you're getting something out of it all right so further into june the world is here and this is in the position of this person so hmm something's changing here with this person and, and i feel like it has more to do with you value valuing yourself and not putting not throwing your pearls to swine, washing your own plate, leaving everything else for this person. They're going to make a change here with the world. Here's the lovers. There's the hierophant. That represents conform. So I do feel like this person will conform to some degree. Like they. Let me just get another clarifying card here for this. Wow, I feel like that was similar to yesterday. Yeah, they're going to reflect, definitely. Once you stop giving so much of your valuable time and energy, hmm, I, you know what? Listen to me. Now, I'm not calling anybody out here, but I just have to say this. You're giving so much, you're not giving this person an opportunity to show up for this relationship because you're covering all the bases for them. This person wants to cover the base they want to be up to bat they want to they want to hit a home run with you and in order to do that if they don't get an opportunity to participate now this isn't gonna be for everybody because I know some of you already stopped and you know maybe you just have to wait a little bit longer but what I feel like is give them an opportunity to get it to home plate so that they can swing and make a home run here if you don't give them the opportunity to show up and you just keep carrying them to their spot to show up on their own, they're just going to take advantage of that. And they're not going to appreciate it unless they do it themselves. This could be a kid, a child. This could be anybody in your life. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. But it seems like you need to put, get your foot off the gas a little bit and just kind of let them take in, get in the driver's seat, let them drive for a little while. And the only way that you can't make somebody do that um, you can't force somebody to do that, but you can hop over into the passenger seat and just be like, well, if we're going, you're going to, you're going to have to drive. I don't feel like it, <laughs> you know, just take your hands off the wheels. What I feel like the message here is all right. So your hopes and fears, you know, you got the death card here. So, I mean, it's both the same, you know, you hope that if, if this cycle or this dynamic between you ends that there's going to be transformation and change and I do feel like it will okay I do feel like it will so you have the king of cups showing up here so the king of cups represents cancer scorpio pisces now the king of cups can be a little bit passive um, this person very emotional they're not generally action oriented they're not generally go-getters um, depending on their placements, but the King of Cups can be pretty passive, you know, and um, probably the most, so if it's a Scorpio, they're very fixed. They don't budge, much like a Taurus. They don't budge. Pisces can be more mutable and kind of more go with the flow. Um, they might be, Pisces, a little bit more will get moving, but the Cancer is really the one that of all the three that will really get moving because they're very energetic because of the cardinal element to their zodiac sign. But let's take a look and see why this King of Cups is here. This could be the person that you're dealing with. Yep, there you go. They show up with the bat. 
they they're like that squirrel they get up in that tree and you know they start going foraging for their own food yep yep ace of wands it's even even you pulling back a little bit i feel like kind of turns them on a little um they actually like listen spirits coming down and is handing them handing them the opportunity but they, they can't take the opportunity if you're in the way of spirit you know, if you're in the way. Um, so I feel like it will come to them once you step out of the step out of the box there and allow them to take up their sword, take up the opportunity to plant some seeds and creating some growth. I feel like you want to, but I kind of feel like maybe you know that they have struggles with things, so you're kind of covering them or doing stuff for them, you know. Um and it's much easier said than done. I get it. Especially if it's a son or a daughter um, or a grandchild. It's You always want to be protective to some degree. But I feel like the best support that you could give this person to come forward to participate in this relationship if you're dealing with this type of person is to step back and let the chips fall where they may. And if they don't pick up their side of the street, you know those chips their side of the chips to contribute well then then you might have to free yourself from this but we'll go into the extended and see like what they're gonna do how they're gonna pick up their side of the street how they're gonna put in the effort into the relationship and why they want to do this with you like what the energy is and why you know do they love you I think so, because the lovers is here. So we'll touch on all of that in the extended reading. That'll be the link in the description box, only 11 11 dollars and 11 cents. All right, so if you want to just go right over to there, go ahead, click on that link. If you want to just hang out here, I'm going to get more into the reading and see what other messages there are here for you in dealing with this person. Okay, messages of love for Virgo, Virgo sun moon rising or venus messages of love okay someone is gripped by obsessive thoughts look virgo i kind of feel like that's you you the thing about virgos is virgos think that they're always right and usually they are and that's great um but your obsessiveness to be right or to dictate or to show someone how something should be done and trying to get them to do that, um, I think you need to let go here, okay? Um, so in whatever area that might be, um, if you're trying to, if your obsessiveness gets to the point of manipulating somebody to do what you want them to do, um, that's just going to backfire on you and that's not going to be healthy for you because you don't have that kind of power. You are safe and divinely guided. And I do feel like spirit is trying to speak to you right now in this reading to let go and let this person give them an opportunity to show up. And then you can ask yourself at some point, does this situation or this relationship align with your values and morals? Is this really... Like if this person, like I said, does not show up for you after you've let go, um, maybe you need to give it a little more time, but you definitely need to ask yourself, is this working for you? And you might need to give it up. You already know the answer that you seek, Virgo. Some of you, this could have something to do with finances in this relationship, money. Maybe you're paying for everything and they're not contributing even a little, okay? in some way all right you need to go slow some of you just don't expect a miracle overnight for it's the exception to the rule it does happen but you need to take your time with this if you're gonna let go just just kind of do it a little bit each day not one big cut off or shut down just a little bit each day yeah it's time to decide about this relationship Definitely. And it feels like the dynamics and the mechanics of the relationship was someone's just very dependent on you or being very passive. And I can honestly say passivity is the, the most unattractive thing, especially in a male. Men need to learn to be men and be go-getters. 
And if there's a woman they want to be with, they can't be, they have to be fearless. They just cannot be passive and expect her to do every single thing. And I don't care if anybody here disagrees or doesn't like that. That's in my channel, in my opinion. I find that when a man, when a male is being extremely passive, he's not even putting in any kind of effort or initiative. Women are generally turned off by that. Women want a guy who is going to take up the sword and, and fight the battle. She just wants that. Every woman wants to go on a great adventure with a guy, whatever it is. That's why you always see women want to get on the back of a guy's motorcycle all the time. You know, it doesn't make him a player. It just makes it, she feel safe and secure when a guy shows up with confidence and that he can take care of business. You know, I, look, I'm old school and I, I don't know when all this changed, but I just feel like once someone gets passive in a relationship, you always hear... And guys do go through this too. They do want a woman that's going to take up her end of things and take care of business as well. Guys don't want a woman that's just going to leech off of them constantly and she has no backbone or she can't stand up for herself. There's something about that energy that is very attractive even to both sexes. Passivity is not attractive at all at all it is a total turn off it could turn you off to sex it could turn you off to attraction you know there's the best time to be passive is if there's like an argument going on and you're just like you know what i'm gonna step away and we can come back and talk about this when we're in a good frame of mind probably the best time to be passive or if you're about to cross a bridge that's going to explode being passive is a good decision i think i will not pass this bridge right now but otherwise the relationship both energies both people got to be initiating taking turns putting into it if that's not happening and you got one person um who is just being uh, you know somebody walk somebody will walk away from that they will walk away from that because it's like what i, I could get more out of a, a a stump sitting in the middle of the forest just sitting there all right let's take a look at the chinese signs okay year of the rooster Year of the snake, year of the pig, year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the horse, year of the tiger. Imagine a passive tiger, oh my gosh, and year of the dog. Okay, that could be you, that could be your person. Gosh, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to go over to the extended and we're going to see how this person's going to put in their effort once you give them room to initiate and make a move and see what it's going to be are they going to match your energy we'll see um all right so we've got virgo libra libra again that's twice i am missing one oh i don't know where it went okay september 1st september 14th August 24th, the 31st, okay, August 27th, someone is 59, we have 37, we have 53, 44, 1980, oh, that was August, that said August, August birthday, very significant, June, very significant birthday or date, 1968, 63.39. Did I say that already? I might have. Somebody's in Louisiana or LA. Someone's a doctor or has a doctorate degree. Okay. September 6th. We have the initial H. Someone's being a hoe. <laughs> I swear I just saw it. I'm not really accusing. I'm not accusing you of that. Okay. Hmm. Somebody's eating a Tic Tac, sucking on a Tic Tac. Somebody's got a cat, petting your cat, sitting there with your cat. Um, Wisconsin, I just heard Wisconsin. Um, something's going on at the White House. Big, huge, a big, huge event at the White House in, in June. Something major to do with the White House in, or the Capitol, Washington, D.C. Okay. Um, somebody calls someone a lad, like the lads. They say lads. Um, 
somebody's uh, all right so i don't know they're saying rh factor i guess that's something to do with blood rh factor um somebody's eating are you eating right now munching on some food having some munchies okay somebody is a cheat i just saw this cheat cheating on their taxes cheating somebody out of something okay and then somebody's in a chat in a chat room maybe cheating in the chat room okay don't get scared if you know about it or you suspect somebody might be cheating in a chat room maybe it's you virgo maybe you're like i am done with this mf -er. let me talk to somebody else <laughs> but you haven't broken up with your person yet hey don't get on your high horse everybody's human somebody here might be doing that i'm not calling anybody out it's just to qualify the reading no judgment you do what you got to do okay let's get into some charms what charms all right oh look that showed up again colorful city an elephant and uh, I'm just seeing star studded star studs or star studded I don't know what that means studs I'm seeing studs that are made of like metal or stars star studs okay we have a double horseshoe <laughs> all right so <laughs> I'm not a horseshoe um seahorses double seahorses significant for someone right star studded maybe a star studded event you're going to or you went to um and then so this elephant has gigantic ears so this is a baby elephant i know elephants have big ears but this feels like a dumbo maybe somebody calls somebody dumbo like a disney elephant yeah oh and i'm also seeing a four-tiered cake somebody's making or made or is eating a four-tiered cake as well okay so yeah short and sweet i'm gonna go over to the extended and see what this person like i said what they're gonna be doing what energy they're gonna put in like they're getting the bat you got the ace of wands it is a potential but we want to see if they're gonna really go the full distance here if you give them the based on you giving on you stepping back based on you stepping back and giving them the opportunity to swing you hit a hit a home run okay nobody's nobody wants a bench warmer so I want an all-star. All right. So link will be in the description box below this video. I hope you guys had a fantastic night. I'll be back tomorrow for your weekend reading. And then that'll be that. All right. Thanks for being in the chat. Love you guys. I'll see you all here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like do all the great things um, and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye